everyone I am back so today I'm going to be doing a video um, about what happened with my accident so today is story time so let's get into that um so I got an accident on March 1st um, it was a three-car accident and it was a guy's fault. Um, I was driving and he crossed the opposite side of the street and hit a lady um, head on and then hit me head on. And I thought that it was um, both of them that had hit me, but it turned out to be just him who had hit me. And I didn't find that out until I got to the hospital. All of us had went to trauma. All of our cars were um, totaled. That was my first car. Pissed. Highly pissed. Um, so, I stayed in the hospital for a good month. Almost a good month. I broke almost every bone. Um, I broke my hip. I fractured my ribs. I broke my wrist, my right wrist, and my left forearm. So, you can see here, and on the other opposite side, I don't know if y'all can see, but it's one here as well. They cut right through my tattoo. Um, I had to get plates, screws, and rods. That's all on my left side. This wrist fractured, um, I didn't have to have surgery, so it healed on its own naturally in a hard case whereas though this I had a soft because I had surgery on it and my hip everything else is fine my ribs um it's fine everything's fine but my hip is the only one that I'm having issues with I have I had surgery on March 2nd the day after the accident um for them to put plate screws um is plate screws and a rod in my hip so they basically try to keep my bones my my own bones <laughs> and try to um, wait and see if they will mend together but they did not mend so months later um, I found out in July that I have to have a hip replacement now because it's not healing as it should so I've been out of work and everything and I'm like well since I'm out of work I'll take this time to pursue what I really want to do which is make a YouTube video this is my second YouTube video I'm happy about that <laughs> um but me being in the hospital for all that long time was horrible I ain't never had I, I never broke a bone before then i never had to stay in the hospital um i never even went to the hospital for like things like that i went to regular doctor's appointments so i never experienced nothing like that but it was horrible it was horrible <laughs> i mean i know people say they don't like staying at the hospitals but i understand now why they don't like staying there it was the absolute worst um so yeah, I don't, I don't see how people can do it. Um, on my um, first week of being at the hospital in general, I think I set up for my by myself for the first time um, a few days after the surgery because it was at first I couldn't do couldn't do that. So I set up by myself the first time and I stood up for the first time by myself um, it was all within a week because I was determined I'm like I'm a Leo I'm gonna get it period <laughs> like we lions we strong ain't nothing gonna hold us down nothing gonna hold me down I'm gonna get it and I'm thinking everybody kept saying you young you young you young so you're gonna get through this quick like you're going to heal quick and I'm like that's why I hate it my mind like I'm going to heal quick it is now August almost my birthday and I'm thinking that I will be up and running 
like regular back to work everything and no the hip is still broke okay the hip is still broke um i don't know when i'm going for surgery to have my hip replacement yet it might be sometime next month in september close to october um i'm not i'm really 100 percent sure yet but i will keep y'all updated on that and um <laughs> you doing good babe did therapy and everything in the hospital they got me up i was walking i was really progressing in the hospital and i was supposed to went to a, re a rehabilitation center um after the hospital and i was like i do not want to go there especially not doing all this COVID 19 i'm just ready to go home and everything and um i progressed so much that i didn't have to go to a re rehabilitation center so i went straight home after the, the hospital and i'm like you know yes that's good i'm going home i could be in my own environment you know environment that you familiar with and i had the therapist and everything come to my house for uh, me to try to improve better and just keep in keep moving doing all the exercises and everything and i was only 50 percent weight bearing in the hospital and when i came home so after that, um, maybe in May, I believe, yes, maybe April, <laughs> I had um, became, I believe it's April, yes, it's April, I went to the doctors and he was like, um, you need to just be 25% weight bearing, so they took 25% away from me, and I'm like, okay um he was saying that it wasn't healing as much as he thought it would have by now by that time so he made me 25 percent weight bearing so then i didn't do therapy because i only could do so much so then when i went back same way bearing again 50 percent. i went back to 50 percent. called the therapist they came out everything then again like i was saying when i went back to work in june for i was at work for like a month um i went back june 15th with my walker <laughs> i wanted to use a cane but i went back with my walker and um it was it was hard one week my hip was like i'm not having it <laughs> like you need to sit down and um it was a lot it was a lot so okay <laughs> i need to get myself together okay so i was saying about the um week that my hip was acting crazy it was oh i could barely put it down <laughs> it felt like one was out one was down um the one that i had the surgery on i could hardly put that foot down it was crazy but um oh uh, it was like let me schedule an appointment to see what is going on with this hip when i get to the doctor's the hip is acting fine like nothing ever happened i can walk like i used to walk <laughs> it was crazy i'm like okay so i get to the doctors and now you don't want to hurt how you was hurting just a few days ago or a week ago or whatever like that so um he wanted me to get blood work done and newer x-rays done i did all of that come to find out the only reason i feel like my bones was not it, that this injury was not healing as it should like he said was because of my vitamin d level and my calcium level it was very low it's supposed to be at a 40 mine's is at a five yeah so with that being said <laughs> um I know y'all know, you know doctors, they put you on pills, and I needed them anyway. So he put me on calcium pills, and he put me on 
um, vitamin D pills to up the level of both. So, did all of that. Um, he said, I want to see you back in a few weeks. So, I came back. And then that's when he told me that, you know, well, once I did my x-rays all over again, he, um, I got a call from them. And I'm like, okay. What is, like, usually they don't call me the same day that I get my x-rays back. They usually, either I have to call them or they call me. I mean, um, they call me like a day or two later. They call me the same day. I'm like, okay, this, this can't be good. And so... Um, they were asking me, could I come in the next day? I'm like, uh, I gotta work. <laughs> I gotta work. I can't just, you know, up and come in. Um, not at 7.30 in the morning. Anyway, that's the time I have to be to work. So the lady is like, well, are you going to be using your wheelchair? I'm like, no. Why would I use a wheelchair? I have not been using my wheelchair. I've been walking with this walker to work all the time. I always use my walker. So, she's like, okay, well, you're a 0% weight bearing now. I broke down crying because I'm like 0% weight bearing. That means I can't do anything at all. I just got to be home all the time, in the bed, all that. And I'm like, okay, well, I'll make the assumption to come in. I just called my job, let them know what's going on. And... I had to come in and that's what he told me that I had to have a hip replacement so I'm just like well they gave me a few options but the hip replacement is best options so I gotta go through all that all over again but I'm like it's okay because I kind of know what to expect since I went through that already it's just that I'd rather do the hip replacement because one, you're up and running as soon as you're out of surgery. I know someone who said they were walking four hours after they had the hip replacement. And they had the hip replacement maybe in about no, not November. It had to have been a little, either November or late October, almost November. And they were back to work in January. So I'm like, give me this hip replacement because I am ready to be up and running. Y'all, I didn't try to get a car within that one month of me being back to work. Everybody is like, you're not scared to drive. You don't have, you're not scared to drive. You don't have PTSD. And I'm like, no, no, I've been in a car in the passenger seat, no PTSD. PTSD. I then drove since my um, injury and I don't have PTSD. I think it's that I think I might have blacked out during my accident. So I really don't remember everything as um, far as how everything happened. I just remember me seeing him cross the line and he's coming over. Then after that, I don't remember anything because I never saw him hit the lady. Um, people told me that was around me that seen the accident so happened a family friend was seen the accident was at the same location as me at the same time when it happened she told me and told my family and everything about what happened and I just remember afterwards like um, I remember seeing my arm looking this form and I'm like my arms broke. I used to be an EMT in high school. <laughs> my arms broke. This is not right. And I guess I was in a state of shock or something. I don't know. The adrenaline was running through my body and everything. And I'm like, I knew I'd been in an accident because I couldn't breathe. It was so hot in my car. The airbag over my head had bust. Um... And I was trying to like turn the radio on for some odd reason and take the key out of the ignition and try to open the door. I'm trying to do all this with a broken arm and a broken wrist. And I'm like, I gotta find my phone. I gotta find my phone. I'm like, I don't know what happened. Um, the guy who was caught, who caused it, um, they said he climbed out of the passenger seat 
yes they climbed out of the passenger seat and um try to i guess get away run away i don't know something like that and, and everybody like sir you need to stay still so the whole time that they are working on me they had to cut me out the car they had to try to work on me to get me out of there because i couldn't move because of my hip was broke and i didn't know i thought it would be i thought it was just my leg because i I never felt pain. I never felt anything like from the time it happened, me in the car, to from the time I was uh, in the car up until maybe a few weeks being in the hospital. And in the hospital, the only thing that really hurt it was my ribs. My arm never hurt it. Um, and the ribs was hurting bad <laughs> and the only time my leg were hurt was when somebody moved me that was the only time but other than that just me being still me walking it never hurt me now that the screw in my hip has fell a little bit now that i'm home i feel it um because i was like i don't want no pills don't give me no medicine. I don't do none of that. No pain medicine. I didn't do that at the hospital. I had stopped all of that because it made me so sick. I was stopped everything. Only thing I wanted was a heating pad. And that was it. I was content. A heating pad. But when things got really bad, um, I would just be like, okay, well, can I just have some Tylenol? That was when my ribs were hurt so bad. And that's it. Like... I don't know, all I needed was my Tylenol, my heating pad, and sleep. And that was about it. That's all I needed. So, that's an update on what happened with me from March up until now. <laughs> um, and I will keep y'all updated. I'm going to be having a birthday soon. That is in... I believe it's August 22nd. I was going to say, I was going to count the days, but I can't be doing all of that. I can't think right now. <laughs> so it's August 22nd, and I'm supposed to be having a little get together. It's going to be my last get together with my family and friends before I have surgery again. And I'm going to let y'all all know how it goes. I'll be making a video about that soon. And I hope y'all have a nice day. And bye bye.